हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज मी अनमोल एंड वेलकम टू द अनदर सेशन ऑफ माय चैनल एंड आई हैव बीन गेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट टू आई मीन फ्रॉम मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल्स फ्रॉम यू पीपल्स एंड माय क्लाइंट्स आल्सो दैट दे वांट टू वर्क विद द नोट जीएस नाउ दिस इज द नेक्स्ट बिग थिंग व्हिच इज कमिंग इनटू द पिक्चर Uh, my clients are uh, uh, saying that they need a mean developer mean not as a mean mean means mongo db express engine m e a a for angular js and n n for the node one the same way we used to say the lamp package uh, this is the mean stack uh, developers which are coming into the pictures right now uh, so what is node I have opened this Node.js. dot org. As you can see, it's a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome V8 JavaScript engine. Remember, Node.js is not a framework of JavaScript. This is the main thing. This is a part, <coughs> a different technology, uh, uh, in which you can write the JavaScript code with a little bit of different syntax and uh, as you know each and every language have their own uh, set of rules and regulations so these are the things which you have to follow if you have to use the node.js and uh, the another cool thing is the npm 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 means node packet manager uh, sorry node package manager the thing is uh, now node is ge getting a lot of packages which you can use in this so this is about the node if you want to know more just go to the wikipedia this is the open source class platform runtime and all these things so i'll make a separate video in which uh, i'll explain more about the node.js so <coughs> as we go to the main developer main m for mongodb you must be knowing the mongodb then is express and angular we'll do the express part here now what is express js let me open that for you x press dot js here sorry express js here okay. this is a web application framework the same thing uh, you can see if you if you are a php developer you must be knowing the php have some kind of frameworks like cake php zen yi laravel code igniter and all so this is the same uh, these were the frameworks which were used in php as the co language and on that we have some set of classes the same goes for the express js it is a web framework for node.js okay so we'll do one thing we'll create a new app and uh, in that app we'll use node.js and obviously we have to use node.js if we have to use uh, the express one and on that we'll make an app so i'll open these are some of my my personal projects and my client projects so i'll make a new project here so i'll move to i'll open my terminal here let me get into this www.html not it okay here I'm um, in this one. Let me clear this, and I'll. I have uh, one more thing. I have already installed Express here. If you know, if you want to know how to install the Express, this is the starting guide. How to install the Express. Uh, this must be installed after you have already installed Node.js. You have to uh, see. It is written also. assuming you have already installed node.js after that you have to install the express but i'll not take this 
traditional approach here as I have already uh, gone to these steps my focus here is to make a new app here and one more thing uh, in express you can use the MVC structure you if you have uh, worked on cake PHP or uh, coding writer you must be knowing the MVC architecture it's model view controller there so we'll use the same approach here I'll make a new express let's uh, make this app tilt app let me simply make it youtube app okay so you'll see here i have got youtube there is the pin the public route and view I'll use simply use here sublime text here it's a very good one for if you want to use let me open this um, file system Okay, so this is what you already get if you install this one. So this is the important thing here. Package dot JSON. It's written here that uh, I have these dependencies, but the thing is I haven't initiated any app so far, any project so far and I haven't installed these dependencies so my first point would be I'll YouTube apps I'll do the change and I'll install the dependencies here you'll see what happened here the new folder would be made and uh, that folder would be node underscore modules in which I have to use these dependencies which are this one and uh, you can see what happens here if I do the install here and this will take some time So in the meanwhile it get installed I can uh, tell you more about the node.js in PHP you need the extra server for handling your uh, server operations you use the Linux oh sorry you use the Apache one but in case of node.js you don't need a separate server you can you can uh, I mean uh, handle your own server you can create your own server you can handle your own request there so this is the node underscore module and you can see in this each and every one the dependencies these dependencies body parser cookie parser debug express which we are using here uh, jade morgan and server favica these are used here my next step would be I have used that one it's almost ready but I haven't initiated my app here so what I'll do I'll make npm init so yes I'll make the name of this app the same YouTube app its version is this okay you want to write the description you may or you may not this app is for my youtube channel okay entry point would be app.js entry point means where the app would recognize it 
you can see in uh, WordPress there's index.php in uh, cake there's also index.php I'm using app.js here blah, blah, blah. okay good okay so I have initiate I have installed my app I have initiated my app I have got this very good uh, view routes will make the controllers and uh, here's a public one where you will get the <coughs> style sheet here javascript here and your images in this one will make a mvc out of this will make a controller folder as well and the model folder as well uh, that i will show you in my upcoming videos so the first is now the question is how to run this app by default this will not run <coughs> app.js okay because you can see here you are not having you are not having the way in which there is any server in which uh, it's uh, listening to any port so what i'll do here is i'll use this app dot listen to the port 3000 okay so i'll go to this i'll start my app node app.js or app and you can see nothing here but if i go here localhost port 3000 here you can see the express one if you if you want to here is the that we get uh, it's getting this getting style sheet on it favi icon favi icon so if you want uh, your uh, message here i'll do one thing i'll stop this by using control c i'll go back to this one i'll make a function here and I'll log a message app is started on port number 3000 enjoy just for the fun sake you can write anything on this so I'll once again start it what app and here is this message I have typed here app is started on port number you can see it here and uh, when I go back to this one 3000 it's still running if I stop it control C there is a problem unable to connect once again I will start this app and you can see here yeah. so we will uh, continue to make a new application uh, using the express one and uh, if you have any query just let me know or comment it if you like it uh, uh, if you don't like it if you want any improvements on this so i'll be waiting thanks a lot for watching have a nice day